For example, in this web page, I'm going to extract data the country flags that you can see. There is a lot of flags around the world. And I also can change the view types to the name with the basic info, which is to have the number of the population and number of the total land area in the kilometer square. So I have to launch WAM server or you can use the ZAM server, whatever you want. And the PHP version is 8. And now my directory project is located in here. You can see that. And so now I um, will create a new project, new folder to put my project code inside there. Okay, so the important things is the library called the simple HTML DOM in the zip file. I'm gonna move this zip to my folder and then I will take one of the PHP file which is we require in my scrapping project. And then I'm going to create an index.php file. And my editor is the VS Code. Yeah, so let's drag and drop the file into there. And the first thing first, we have to include the file library in the root project. It is a simple xmldom.php file. But in the PHP, we have to use the opening text PHP. So the server can recognize it is the PHP script. Then I'm gonna make a request to the URL by calling a function file underscore get underscore HTML. And the parameter is the URL link. So so let's go to the web page and I'm going to copy the link and then I'm paste it back here. So make sure it's correctly retrieved the page. I will display the page file and let's go to the new tab and type in the project to run the PHP file. Okay, I'm going to uh, copy the project name because uh, it's gonna be, I'm typing incorrect something. And now you can see there is a page which is mostly the same, but the click pictures are not displayed because of the image links part is not correctly work. Let's see the source code by inspect element. We can see more detail the data including the population as well as the array number. And if I club this element, we can see all of the LI elements are represented to the flag data. You can see when I'm moving cursor over on the each LI element, the page also marked in the blue highlight on each flag. And this URL elements contain all the LI elements. So we're gonna go through on the class name. Let me copy the class name and then I'm go back to the VS code. If we use this XML objects to find the LI element. And this prime function we will use the CSS selector to get the elements. And now look at this again. We have a URL with a specific class name and the LI elements inside of it. So the second parameter we can pass the index that we want to return. And let's see the first elements of the LI. I'm gonna inspect the element and we can see that the first elements that take from the original web page is Afghanistan. And this means we correctly grab the element. Now let's go through all the LI elements by doing the loop on this. So what we're going to extract data from is the text here, the country name. And here we already in the LI element. Then we will find the first A element and filter the text only. Okay, let me separate the screen so we can manage it easily. Here we don't have to go deeply to the span element, just using the function text. It's gonna be return the plan text. Also, in this case, we don't want to have some extra space with the text. We're gonna use the trim function to cut out the space. And I'm going to pass the value into the variable. And next, we're gonna extract the number of the area, uh, which is uh, A elements. And A elements contain an attribute data dash area. 
it is mostly the same so i'm gonna copy here and then just change into the attribute array pass with the key is the data dash area just do the same way we just store into the variable and then we're gonna get the text from the population attribute we just change the attribute name So next, what data that we're going to get is the flex picture, which is in the IMG element. And the IMG element is inside A element. So the selector is going to be an A and then IMG. Okay, you can see that IMG is in the A element, but we're going to get the value of the attributes S or C. Here, we can use the arrow with the attribute name since there is no special character with it. So, we're gonna display each of those variables to see whether it is correctly scrapping or not. So, let's go test that. And this error because we can access the SOC attributes with the array. So, we have to add the index as the parameter. Now you can see that all data are retrieved. For image, I'm gonna concate with its domain. Let's see again. Now we have a full link that we can see the flag. I think we should move to the next step. I will define an array to store this data. And then now we're going to check detail in each country. So in this detail page, we can see this country information and each of these have different information. Another flags also have more data or less something like that. And this means I'm going to put the title as a key and the values are the data. So that's gonna be dynamically gathered data based on the existing fields. And now we grab the link from the first page. So we can get the link from the A element. Because it's not fully linked, I will concave with the URL. And here we have the detail page link. So we can make the request to extract the data. Now we inside detail page. We're gonna loop through all the country information here. We do inspect element again and see all the information is in the table element. We can see each TR element represent to each row of data. That means we can loop through the TR element and extract the data from it. So let's copy the class name. A that's we will use for the CSS selector. And paste the class name and then we get the TR element. We will use the value in the T8 elements as a key and the TD we have the value so the TO elements has the same pattern. And this data I will collect and then store into the another array and now we have the three arrays to store. Let's store the detail info first with the key array and the value. And then we store the data in the first page following by the key and the value. And last, we can get all the info each country and the detail country as well. I will print the data info that we're gonna see clearly. And now I will run the script once again. It will take a long process until the end of the country list. After we run a few minutes, you're gonna face with this problem, which is exit of time. So we have to extend the time execution into the 500 seconds. I hope that's gonna be working fine. And here we can see this data in each array structure, which is all the data we have retrieved. So 
you can use this data for analysis or whatever. I hope this tutorial helped you and please consider subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you won't miss my next video. Thanks.